one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is an absolutely beautiful 1979 AMC Concorde. And this one's got the very desirable straight six 258. It's the DL model. And so you got all your options. Man, there's so much chrome trim on stuff on this. On stuff, I'm like, I'm Guess I messed that up a little. That's okay though. Man, it's mostly all here. I mean, cub caps, the whole deal. Um, this is a beautiful little car. Kind of screams an era, and actually was the most luxury, small economy car or something like that. Check it out on the internet, it tells you all about it, but um, very nice car. And someone kept incredible shape of this car. That's all there is to say about it. This car is in great shape. Runs and drives nice, and looks nice. That's all there is to it. My name's Nathan, it's 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. And other than that, make sure and check out my site. There are lots of cool, unique, classic cars. And I'm gonna go around this one here and show you everything on it. In fact, right now we're gonna go underneath, look at that chrome. When they still made them with chrome trim and such. Look at this, absolutely beautiful, big old torquey motor. And you can tell they've had this stuff off for maintenance and done some maintenance on stuff. Um, beautiful car. Guy put a uh, set of Michelins on it, and they've got probably God, there's little titties on the side, and 80, 90 percent tread, 70 to 90 percent, let's say. Love the chrome rocker panels and everything. These are very, they were the luxurious of the small cars, and actually said that they had interiors that Cadillacs would envy and such and some of the car and driver write-ups and such. Factory undercoat and everywhere. Um, I read online that they put Zybart or whatever it's called on these. Um, beautiful car. Michelins. You know a guy takes care of his car and loves it when they put good money into the wheels and stuff. And they've got a very unique concavely looking whoopity whoop back in there where it kind of goes like that. It just looks awesome the way the car is. Um, there is this piece here. It's got a little damage on it. But I'm looking at that. And the way this is and the way this is I wonder if there's a little bit of an indent here. Just slight. It doesn't seem like it though. But I want to make sure and go over everything. Man, there's nothing that I see there. But that ding is a little different. That there looks like he donked something or something, possibly. Look at that. The seal's been off and everything. Might have even made a repair to it. It's in great shape. I love that chrome trim. Now I'm going to go around and show you the sides and any kind of paint stuff. Now this front fender has fading right in there. And I'll show you up the house too in the more shadowy time. A little bit of paint on there you could scrape off. A few little cracks in that. And the paint there is what I'm trying to say right there. And going down the sides, it's absolutely beautiful. You can see um, dings in the hubcap wheel cover there. But it's nice as can be. A little something right there. And I'll just kind of shoot down the side here. And then we'll kind of go back at it. Man, he's touched it up in places. Like right there, a little paint on it. Um, seems original to me. Um, the headliner, I'll talk about. They had a factory headliner. Little chips right there. Can't really talk about it later now because I just talked about it. In fact, all the trim for the headliner is here. Concord things, this trim, and this trim. However, um, the headliner wasn't in very good shape and was only about oh halfway there. And so we took it off. It's nice and smooth now. And you can feel a ding right there. Dent. And you can see it right there a little more on that piece. And I didn't take it off to make it. You can see something probably and hit it right there, a stick or something. A few chips on that piece. 
nothing real serious, but we put a nice hammered coat on this and there's probably about 10 coats on it and it looks just great. A um, few little light checks in it you can see there, can you? Um, not as nice as that. The original paint is just beautiful, but it looks good and it kind of, you can put a top on it if you want. My top guy had this car for two months and I just finally had to get it back from him and do it to it. Okay. Little marks here. And you know what? This one is a different tread pattern or something. Mitchell and X radial. And it's got a little dry rotten pieces by the letters just a teeny bit. But still, nonetheless, it's there. Let's look at this. And yeah, this is a weather-wise. It was put on at a different time. And it's got a couple little marks in it, too, there. Now, I've drove it around. It drives great. But a guy should probably replace them. These two, I think, are a whole different timing. He must have replaced these two differently. Or they got less wear and didn't set. Oh, there you go. This side got more sun. Exactly. This side got a lot more sun, and you can tell it by this. It's my opinion here, at least. Um, I see a couple cars, so I mean, my opinion might not be perfect, but I think I'm a little on. A lot of little chips right there. And he scraped against something right here. Barely just got this. Just barely. It's in great shape, though. Ding right here. And these pieces are a little dry, and that plastic is on top of them. It's kind of came off over time. So, that's that. That's all your issues over here. Let's look at the other side. Um, the chrome in the front's all nice. Black is just a little bit fading on there. It's starting to get a little, I think they had like a clear coat over this or something. And you're starting to get a little bit of something in the chrome there that you can't really see unless you get up on it. It's in great shape. <laughs> he put this thing hanging down instead of putting it up. Can you believe that? Come on now. That's supposed to go there. Guess it looks cool like that too. That's not how it's supposed to go. But it shows off that chrome, I think. Look at that. Concord. Nothing like putting your name twice right up front. Okay. Right there he got something. I don't know what. The guy's trying to squeeze in between something a couple times. A little chip there. God, it's beautiful. The pinstripes here are a little light. A little bit faded. Not real bad. You can see it a little bit there. God, it's beautiful. A little light mark there, very hard to see. Okay, down this side. He got it right there. And a ding, a little scrapey ding right there. And you know what? That chrome piece is missing on this side. And it took me all that time of having this car to realize that. So now you know. And if there's any paintwork on the car, it's on this side of the fender. But I don't think so because they would have surely taken it all the way up. I don't know. Don't know. If it is, they matched it dang good. Because I can't tell on there. God, it's in great shape. If there's another ding, there might be one right there. Right there is. And a little ding there. And if there's anything in this back door and quarter, I'm missing it. Let's just say there is and I can't see it. To be safe. A little scratch there and a little chip there. A little chip something there. Oh wait, that's just uh, something sitting on there. Imagine that. Dust or something. Slightly faded on the trunk. Just slightly and a little bit, not really. Probably take a buff. It's been, it's been sitting for four months since we put a light buff on it. Some of these guys keep a long time. And he got something just slightly there. As you can see, lights are beautiful. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And that's your exterior review. <clears throat> Runs and drives great. I'm gonna take you for a test drive now. Um, you know, it's a one owner, it could be a two. I don't recall, it's been a long time, like I say. Check the eBay ad, it'll be in there. And, um, you know, you're going to replace something over time on an old car like this. I deal with a lot of people, and it'll be their first car, and they never bought nothing. And they went to the Hyundai dealership, or the Ford dealership, and 
looked at a focus or something and you know everything's taken care of anything's going to need to be maintained you could have to replace plugs or pumps power steering pump or fuel pump or a fuel filter in the first month week day could go out tomorrow had to buy a five dollar to forty dollar part that's a good thing though cheap to work on these kind of cars for sure and i showed you a ding there but as i go back i can kind of see that there's a couple it looks like you got dinged a couple times or something right there very very clean car and sorry if i blocked your view there and we're going for a test drive oneownercarguide.com i love all the chrome or stainless trim on this stuff beautiful hope the wind ain't too much i know it's loud i know it's blowing man that's just the way it is right now i had a guy ask me the other day can you leave the door open when you start them where we can hear them listen to that man you don't even know it's running I'm gonna do it again. You can almost like, you know, any turn of the key is gonna be too much. It's just a tiny turn. It's a nice car. That's all there is to it. Okay. Automatic. I've got to get a picture of that. I've been getting in trouble with my people that help build my ads because I don't get pictures of the speedometer sometimes, I forget. And I can buy this low mile stuff. God, this car drives nice and it's quick and powerful. And comfortable, man. It does make you think a caddy ish ish. -ish. Does that make sense? Caddy ish ish ish? Wow. It's quick. Very pep. It's a big engine for this car. That's all there is to say about it. that in a previous video here where I pulled over and showed the speedometer and such it's beautiful in here look at that nice 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 I had the arm manuals and everything but they were stolen at the auction that's it man it don't take much and it's up there nice loud horn Kind of caddyish, actually. Now, loaded. What I mean by loaded is plush, because they came a lot of different ways. This one has manual options. It does have power steering, power brakes. It's got all the important stuff like that. But the plushness, and I kind of said the wrong word there. It's not loaded. It's plush. And that blinker is the kind that you have to, you know, hold when you do it. It won't, like, always click by itself and stay over. Holy smoke, she wanted to peel out. Nice driving car. That's all there is to say about it. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. It's got a little bit of a fan hitting something there. And you gotta push that, like I say, to make the blinker blink. The other way it works. Yep. Runs nice, shifts nice. Digital clock works, and I actually think that is likely what time it is. Um, AM radio, and it's uh, and you just deal with it. And it does the squeaky thing when you first turn it on. But once the volume's on, it's all good. 
I'm not gonna play it or nothing. Well, beautiful car. Lots of torque, lots of power. I feel like this thing would pull a uh, camper trailer, a camper thing. I mean, it's just nice as can be. And I love a car with a hood ornament. I don't know of many small economy cars by this era, in this era, that had a hood ornament. Give it a little juice there for you. And it goes. Uh, a little bit of a leak on the oil. Uh, not huge or anything, but it does leak a little oil some. Um, I check my fluids all the time, but it's not something that even shows on the dipstick after you drive it around, but it's just something that at some point you're going to need a gasket or a seal or something. Just kind of the nature of the beast. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the house, show you the interior. Love the sounds of certain things in cars, like the way a blinker sounds. It reminds you of being young or something, you know? See that little fan click there? Okay. And we are in, just like that. Okay. That's the deal. So now you've seen the test drive. Oh yeah, the hood on the hood latch thing is on this side. Really weird. I'll take this with me for the back, where I can show you that. And door panel is beautiful. Keys are hot. Sitting out there in the sun. Woo. Okay. Seats. Beautiful. That's the only tear I know of. And I can get this piece replaced for you very cheaply. If you wanted to do the headliner, I can get that done. The, I mean the exterior one. But the headliner here is really nice. These are just a little... See this piece coming off? And I should have made this look a little nicer beforehand to where it wasn't hanging down, but hey, I, some things just don't get done. And I can get those recovered for you for about 30 bucks. Small tear in the carpet right here by the kick panel thing. Shows 40,978. Man, it's almost believable. There's a little wear on this side of the pedal, but man, I don't know. And that's the thing with the five digit. And you don't have to shut the doors very hard. The car is just nice as can be. Look at these. The way the headrest is in here. Hang on a sec. Sorry. Cool stuff, huh? That's what I thought, at least. And I didn't clean this or nothing. It's sat down in there for years. California blue plate car. It's okay, girl. Beaglespocket.com. If you need a miniature beagle, and who doesn't need a miniature beagle? I can't think of anybody. If it's actually what you're looking for, I'd even make you a deal with one on this car. God, it's beautiful back here. Look at this. Leather stripping and all. It's in great shape. You got a spare up in here. <laughs> cool, man. Still got the stickers on it and stuff. Still got to tread on the upper part there. I mean, on the face of the tire. So it ain't been on the road is my point. It ain't been on the road. Great shape, all the speckle coat. Or Zybart probably in this year. <laughs> God, that's thick stuff too. Just sprayed right up to there, you can tell. And there's your extra stuff there. God, the paint's just so clean on this car. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, beaglespocket.com, AMC Concord. Basically, it's an uh, eagle with a non-4x, right? I think so. 
carpet's in great shape. Oh, little ashtrays in the back. Forget to show them, you don't usually have them. Full armrests in the back, in great shape. Reminds me of a Wagoneer a lot, or a Grand, grand Wagoneer or a Cherokee. A uh, little bit more wood accents and stuff on the front doors, and they're in great shape. This dash is in great shape. Let me show you directly up. These aren't all messed up, but there is a small crack right there. And I have to show you that other side. Tire inflation pressures. Huh. Interesting. Different cars. Little ledge down here and this thing. Oh. Well, no wonder. We never even felt that. This screw right here is loose and this one is out. And needs to be tied back in to that main supporting rail right there. And I can't do it. I do not have a screwdriver. And then on this end, well, it plugs in right there and it's in. So it's sturdy. But so you know, well, wow, it's sturdier because I got that in there a little bit, huh? I don't have a socket head like that. Very easy fix. And it goes all the way over here too. Wow, those two are gone also. So it needs two screws right there too and it'd be way sturdy. Pretty upfront about this stuff. Ah, oh, little mark right there. It's kind of hidden by the window crank being down there. Look at these seats, great condition. I'm gonna show you under the hood now and then we'll back it out a little bit and show you that. One sec here, I'm gonna have to put this down. Maybe. There we go. You got all these different cars. And I don't have like all Chevy or all Ford or nothing like that. And so I end up with different hood latches to do. And I forget what's what. Got new plug and wires on it. Cap rotor, all that. Look at this, man. Beautiful. Even got the flusher thing on it. Quick drainer. That hose is new, too. That hose is recently new. You know, lots of stuff has been taken care of and maintained on this. That fuel pump's relatively new. Nice stuff. Oh, this is torn. And this has a little crack in it there for the, it's just the windshield washer fluid, but even though. Belts look good, it all looks nice, man. Like I say, anything can go out anytime. It's an old car, it's a cheaper car. It'll save you money over time, that's all there is to it. Hood liner's just a little bit messed up there and crinkled. Well, that's that. I will probably take some pictures tonight and show you it tonight. Um, oil changer thing in the window. Can't read it anymore. There we go. Oh yeah. They all smoke and there's no foul odors or smells. Nothing like that. And that's about what I, oh, still got the vehicle emission information sticker. DL, that's that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. I'll clip some more in here in a minute, most likely. Nathan, 406-544-6919. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. BeaglesPocket.com. Concord, AMC. Be the only one in your town, on your block. On your block, for sure. Probably in your town. And even if there is somebody else. Ain't gonna be as clean as yours. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Call me anytime. I'll export this anywhere in the world. We'll see ya. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. I took a video up here in the bright sun, and now it's not the bright sun. It's a 79 AMC Concorde. And it's a beautiful car. I'm gonna do this here 
evening walk around just to give you a shot of how it looks in the evening and it's a beautiful car runs and drives great and got some plush interior plush interior that's all there is to say very unique to see on the road nowadays and quite a cool car you can call me anytime it's Nathan 406 544 6919 you can check out my website oneownercarguy.com on there you'll see a full review and you know the whole walk around underneath and you'll see about 60 to 80 pictures of it and all that good stuff very very straight it's got its little ding or whatever here or there and I went over that in the other video just wanting to show you and I'm under the impression that this turned out very good and looking right like that you never know you would never know that I repaired that um, to put a little paint on it instead of having that vinyl and the vinyl could be replaced cheaply but that's even cheaper just to leave it like that a little ding here or there um, absolutely beautiful car it's in great shape if you're interested in it like I've said Nathan 406-544-6919 oneownercarguy.com and I'll give you a quick test drive back down to the house here right after this it's got those classic lines man kind of the upgraded Hornet and man it's sweet and you'd be the only one in your town with one especially one that's clean well that's that. I'm going to give you a quick test drive back up to the house just for the heck of it because I'm going there. You might as well go with me. Oh man, them doors open so nicely and close very nicely too. Fires up in a jiffy. Huh. Of course the battery is out because I unhooked it up there when we parked it. I'm pretty sure. Ah, so it was probably loose. And that's exactly how this type of thing goes around here. There it is. Untight battery. Well, we'll go ahead and run it up to the house. Now we're talking. Well, that is that. And I think that's about all we can say here. We're done. Beautiful car, great shape. Of course, I'll clip some more in here later. Yeah, that's that. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And this is an absolutely beautiful AMC Concorde for sale. 406 544 6919. Nathan, oneownercarguy.com.